Kiora North Gators. Hey, a big thank you for all the correspondence I received following my letter to you on Friday. It's great to know we're all in this together and that we serve a God that is not constrained or intimidated by this Delta virus. You know, given some of your replies, I know some of you are feeling pretty frustrated about what the current government is doing and what you see as major overreach. But don't make the mistake of making your decision whether or not to get vaccinated about protesting the government's actions. Your health is way too important a thing to waste on a protest vote. Make an informed decision by talking to health professionals and pastors you trust, not simply on the basis of content you may have seen online. Hey, putting aside issues relating to COVID, I know they seem to dominate uh, pretty much everything these days. You know, over the last few days, I've been reflecting on Sally's message and John the Baptist's words that he must become greater, referring to Jesus, and I must become less. And how that has actually played out in this digital media age where many people's sense of fulfillment comes from how many likes they have garnered from the content they've posted online or how many followers they have. You know, John the Baptist's words remind us that our purpose in life is not to point to ourselves or to make a way for ourselves or to push ourselves to the top of the pile or to make sure we're the most followed and the most noticed person in our family or school or workplace or church or even community, but to point to someone else, to Jesus, to the Son of God, to the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. You know, I'm convinced that in every facet of our lives, John the Baptist's word should be our watchword. He must become greater and I must decrease. So let me offer you a spiritual exercise if I can. Set aside a little time this week to be quiet and alone. Look honestly at every facet of your life, your spiritual life, your family life, your work life, your recreation time, your finances, and ask this simple question. Do I see Jesus increasing in this area and my role and my wishes decreasing and becoming less? Does the way I love my family show that God is the most important thing in my life? Does the way I work for my employer show that God is the most important thing in my life? Does the way I spend my money and my leisure time show that God is the most important thing to me? Or does it show that my wishes and desires are what really are driving me? For many of us, there will be eras of our life where God is, at, is, is large and at the center, but there will also be areas where we have increased and Jesus has decreased in us. You know, we need to be courageous and let the Spirit reveal those areas to us because one of his roles is to lead us into truth and to convict us of sin. And then we need to come up with a plan to increase God's presence in those areas where he needs to be greater. And then we need to share that plan with someone else and ask them to hold us accountable for its implementation. I know it's tough to do, but it's one of the ways we can get victory in this area. You know, one of the real blessings of regularly performing the spiritual exercise is that it serves as an antidote to jealousy. Because when we keep on filling ourselves with God, He pushes out that which is not of Him. Pride, jealousy, and a love for the praise of men, and of course women. And then we don't fall into the same trap that John's disciples did when they saw John's followers migrate over to Jesus and they became jealous thus robbing themselves of the joy of seeing God's plan being worked out in their master's life and, of course, their own. So why don't you make today the day you decide to lay aside the sin of pride and ego and the desire to be first and embrace, like John, the humility of seeing others as better than yourself. Say with John, he must increase and I must decrease. For this is truly the way of the disciple. 
and of course the way of joy. Hey, praying for you all. May God bless you and protect you and yours. Until next time, Jonathan.